What is up blues, it's your boy Orin, welcome back to another video and this time we got a Saul reaction video guys and you guys already know he joined Chelsea on loan from Atletico Madrid and he's about to have a very interesting season with us, you know, he's gonna be in midfield with Conte, Jorginho, Kovacic and you know in this video the point is you know we're just gonna get to know him more, we're gonna see how what kind of a play, um, player he is, his weaknesses, his strengths, you know, just what he does usually for Atletico Madrid and to be honest, in this past year, he wasn't really in his best, but we already know he's a top class midfielder and on his day, he can be very dangerous. So let's get into it. Okay, let's see. Of course, he's Chelsea player, you know, right now on loan. Um, he's 26 years old. He's very versatile. He's six foot and a half. He's a bit shorter than me uh, and he's left footed. Um, and I think he has a buyout option of 30 million pounds, which is very decent because this is becoming another coach situation. Last year he won the La Liga, of course he had two goals and one assist, but I think he was too versatile last season. He was playing left back, wing back, he was just playing all over the pitch. And let's get into it. Let's see what Saul does. And of course, Jimenez. Saul is a proper Atletico, you know, uh, Atletico Madrid player. You know, he's been there since day one. And you know, the guy's a baller, man. The guy's a baller. Um, let's see what he does, man. Come on, Saul. Let's see, come on. Time to see what we got, you know. Are you gonna be starting for us? Yes or no? Okay, that's a good drag back. Very good drag back. Come on. Left foot shot, what are you gonna do? Okay, okay, okay. We're slowly getting into it. Okay, we're slowly getting into the rhythm. Okay, okay. Come on, Saul. What a shot. What a shot. Come on. Jesus Navos can't do anything there. On the left flank, gives it two. And who was that? Who was that? That was a sh such a shocking miss. I think that was Angel Correa, man. That was a terrible miss. Come on, Saul. Ooh, that's a good goal. That's a good goal. That's a that's an interesting goal. Okay, okay. Hmm. Fair enough. Okay, come on. Great diagonal pass. Two Trippier and Trippier missed. Come on. Ooh, that's a nice lofted pass. Who's that? Is that Suarez or Diego Costa? I don't know, but that's an easy goal, man. Easy goal. Shocking defending from the opposition team, man. I think that was Suarez, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, come on. Great tackle. Such a proper, like, versatile player, man. Box to box, he's a he's an all rounder, man. He's an all rounder. He can do a bit of everything. He's not elite and pretty much and anything in my opinion. I think, but um, I think he's just good. Like he's very solid. Like I just like the, what the player he is, man. I mean, Bayern Munich, they're interested too. But let's see what he does. What's he gonna do? Okay, that's a very nice move. Progressing the ball from deep areas. Oh, against Chelsea. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice pass to Koke. Him and Koke, they got a nice, you know, um, duo going under. Their, their chemistry is very good. And, you know, all they need is just pretty much a defensive midfielder behind them. And they're going to do the rest. You know, they're going to do the ball progression. They're going to do the defending, you know, pressing and stuff. They are very hardworking midfielders. And, yeah, man, look. Come on. Let's see what they're going to do. Boom. Good tackle. This was, I think he was playing as a left back, if I'm not mistaken. Great pass to Yannick Carrasco. Carrasco, oh, guys. Speaking of Carrasco, guys, what? Do you, how highly, guys, do you rate him, man? I, I'm a big fan of Carrasco, and honestly, guys, like I would say, we should get him. And my reasoning is that I think he can he he can play as a left wing back, and also he's gonna be able to provide some attacking depth for us. He can play right wing, uh, attacking midfielder. He's a versatile player too, and I think why shouldn't we get him? You know, like as a backup player, you know, maybe to chill well as a wing back. Um, and he can also play as a winger, you know, if you need him. If one day we go like to a 4-4-2 formation or a 4-3-3, he can do a bit of everything too. Come on, Saul. Look at the long shot. Oof, that was dangerous. That was close. Goalkeeper saved it. Come on, Saul. Great pass to Carrasco again. Ooh, that's a nice pass. Okay, I see. Who was that? I think, was that Carrasco again? I'm not sure. Getting the ball from Luka Modric, he's not the old Modric we know, man. He's far from his prime. At the age of 36, he's still doing very well too. 
However, he's not all mode rich. Your Rente though, your Rente guys is a different monster, guys. Let me just pause, guys. Lorente is just a different midfielder. Like Saul, Saul is good, guys, but Lorente like under Simeone, guys. I mean, this guy has went to different levels, guys. He's went to different levels. He's attacking threat. He was he went from striker to attacking midfielder to right back. I mean, the guy does everything, guys. He's like, he's like the I don't know, man. He's just he's such a top class player, man. I don't know why Real Madrid gave up on him. But yeah, man, ooh, solid bullying players for fun. Very tall and physical midfielder. I hope he's gonna do he's gonna be able to, you know, cope with the Premier League's physicality. I'm pretty sure he can. He's not a small midfielder, you know what I mean? Come on. Boom. Okay, nice move. Another one. And it's a corner. Llorente linking up. Saul making that overlapping run. One. Boom. Okay, nice tackle. No foul too. Great. Let's see what's he gonna do in this situation. Perfect defending, man. Perfect. Switching the sides to Carrasco. They got a very chemist. They got a very good chemistry with, with each other, man. Saul and Carrasco. I rate Carrasco, man. I rate Carrasco. I think his move to China was a bit weird. I don't know why. That was such a weird move, man. I don't know. I have no clue why. Someone in the chat explained to me, guys, because I don't really know. But yeah, man. Karaska was a baller, too. Okay, come on. Ooh, Saul. Linking up with Joao Felix. Let's see what's he gonna do. Okay, nice pass. To the left back. Come on. Losing. Gaining the ball back. Come on, Saul. Okay, 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 okay. We are seeing too many of these passes, guys. Okay. Okay. Imagine Chilo making those runs, you know, Lissig making those runs on those left flanks, Alonso. I mean, Saul be being able to find, you know, those guys, that's very beneficial. Honestly, I would I would really want to see a midfield two of Conte and Saul. Um, I feel like Saul and Jorginho may not work. Um, I think Saul is a bit more offensive, um, and Jorginho, I know you can see it, but I think Jorginho bit more, needs a bit more defensive support, and I think Saul, I think, actually, you know what, Kovacic and Jorginho, they kind of work um, in a three back three system, and Kovacic does less defensive work than Saul, in my opinion, I think he's less defensive minded, and I think Saul can play next to Jorginho, but maybe not next to Kovacic though, but I really want to see a contest Saul um, pivot. That's gonna be very interesting. A box to box midfielder next to, like, you know, a uh, contact, and he can do pretty much everything. He can play DM, he can play box to box, he can play as just a CM, guys. He can do everything. So, I would really want to see that duo, but yeah, man, like Saul, that's a good deal for 5 million too for a season with a cheap buyout option too. That's that's a good deal. Come on, boom, nice. Saul, very nice interception. Gives the ball to Luis Suarez. Joao Felix was making the run. Oh, oh my God, Saul. Okay. Okay, against us. Gets the ball. Nice. Nice interception. Again, great positioning and awareness. And he knows where the player is going to pass. And he was in the right place at the right time. And I think he did a goal line clearance, if I'm not mistaken. And yes, he did. I think that was a last ditch tackle. Look at that. Whew. I think, Ger was it Gerard Moreno that the ball was in his hand, man? Like the football was in his hand. I don't know what he did, man. I don't know what he did. Come on, Saul. Let's go. Come on, Saul. Great. Gets the ball. Nice, nice. Okay, come on. They didn't really show his attacking qualities though. Like you know, he's shooting. He's, he's much more than that. I think they just showing their, they're showing his recent qualities and stuff. His uh, things that he's done. Guys, Saul wasn't like this. Like trust me, his highlights weren't like this. I don't know. And this is Scout Nation. Like he's like a decent. You know, uh, he's one of the better. You know, um, what's it called? You know, highlight editors and stuff. And I just don't know why he didn't include like, um, I guess it says 2021, I guess that makes sense, but 
Yeah, I guess Saul does way more things. I've seen more of him. Like, you know, he's a box to box midfielder. He can do everything. I don't know why they didn't show his, they didn't show his long shots and crazy stuff. I'm pretty sure you guys already seen. But this one was just like his 2021 stuff. And you know what? This one was a bit more interesting because it highlighted more of his defensive abilities, abilities and his positioning and his runs. Things that you might see more in Tuchel system too. You know what I mean? Because Tuchel heavily relate, uh, relies on his team shape, organization, the runs, the pressing. And I think this video was a, a great example of Saul doing that. And I think, you know what? Actually, this was a good highlight, you know, considering that he's going to play a similar role at Chelsea. A bit more of a versatility player, squad player. Um, it, it was an interesting video, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to let me know what you think of Saul and Chelsea's new signing. Just let me know your thoughts, guys. I mean, we are here to discuss uh, and talk about Saul. And yeah, guys, make sure to like, um, you know, share this video with your friends. And yeah, subscribe and see you later for the next video. Bye-bye.